Efforts to improve North Munro Street continue. I'm Mayor Sergeant in Northwest Tallahassee, driving along the street making the same route as local leaders to find out what businesses would like to see here and what measures local leaders are putting in place to improve North Munro. It's starting with a magnet that's attracting conversation. Makes everybody aware that we can say something, speak out and, you know, maybe possibly make a difference. Robert McIntyre, store manager of Ace Hardware on North Monroe, has recently just received a magnet from Commissioner Rick Miner, who represents all of North Monroe, going from Tharp Street to the county line. He's handing them out to businesses up and down North Monroe. Hang that somewhere in your office. Yeah, no. The magnet contains important numbers. We've got a lot of good resources available for North Monroe businesses uh, for reducing crime and, and helping folks that are on the street find safe housing. So he put these numbers in one place for businesses. Have all the tools at their disposal to improve uh, the, the looks of North Monroe, to improve the public safety. Robert says he's grateful for the work as he tells me he does notice speeding in the area. I meet up with Deputy Jonathan Gaffney with the traffic unit at the Leon County Sheriff's Office. He says he's personally out on North Monroe at least once a week monitoring traffic. LCSO also have operations targeted at this area specifically called Monroe Makeover. We have since decreased uh, traffic crashes, uh, crime in this area, so it's not as aggressive, but we still get out here at least once a month like an actual operation with different uh, units within the sheriff's office. Gaffney says they're also focusing on driver education, engagement and connection with civilians in person and on social media. He says he utilizes Facebook Live once a month. Basically trying to humanize the badge. We don't want things to be too serious. Even though some of our concerns or some of the issues are serious, we want to generate a welcoming environment. Stephen Flynn, owner of the Getaway Grill and Bar just off North Monroe, says he's already noticed some improvements. From what I see, more, more of a police presence uh, on the Monroe Corridor. He says that, coupled with the Florida Department of Transportation and Blueprint Landscaping Project here, is helping the area. Commissioner Miner is also proposing a new project to Blueprint that he tells me was spend as much as $30 million of federal and Blueprint dollars to improve the safety of North Monroe, particularly the area above I-10. New sidewalks, better lighting, um, new street crossings that help uh, with the pedestrian safety. Stephen says these efforts are eradicating the stigma associated with North Monroe and sending a clear message. We want businesses to be able to come here and thrive and I, I think that's a it's an important thing that they're, they're doing. Commissioner Miner tells me the proposal will most likely be discussed at the next Blueprint meeting on February 29th in Northwest Tallahassee. Mayor Sergeant, ABC 27.